the last few years, there's been one collaboration that everyone in the Fortnite community has wanted more than anything. Obviously, I'm talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. It's gotten a ton of leaks over the last few years, continually teased this event being right around the corner, as well as what some people think actual references to Five Nights at Freddy's on the Fortnite island. But everything changed just a few weeks ago. Five Nights at Freddy's announced that in order to celebrate their 10th anniversary, they're gonna be making some very special announcements. Today, it finally happened. One of those announcements was a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Fortnite collab. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, exactly 111 days whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! If you do hit the thumbs up button on this video, exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. Choice is all yours, so choose carefully. If you want to go the extra mile to support the channel, just head on over to the item shop and input my code HOMEGAMESYT. Ladies and gentlemen, we wasted too much time. We have a ton of awesome stuff to cover right here in this video, including the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Fortnite collab that's finally happening. Let's get into it. Super quickly before we reveal the Fortnite and Five Nights at Freddy's event. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we'll remember the Imposters game mode. It's basically a recreation of the game Among Us. That Epic added into the game before removing it about one year later. It goes without saying, but obviously the entire map this mode was played on is directly connected to the Fortnite storyline. It took place in a location known as the Bridge. It's essentially the area in between the Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 Island. What you didn't know is there are some other massive hidden teasers reveal a ton about the future of Chapter 5. Now, you're probably thinking I'm talking about the Marvel items on this island like Captain America's shield. Because after all, next season is literally going to have a massive Marvel theme. But that's not what I'm talking about at all. Instead, check this out. There was one room located on the imposter's map that basically served as Agent Jones's main office at the Imagined Order. Just don't forget, during the time the imposter's mode existed, it was not only back when Agent Jones was a part of the IO, but also a time when the Imagined Order was led by Dr. Sloan. Because we all know, the Underground has been searching for ever since she went missing after the Big Bang Live event. Wait until you see this. So in Agent Jones's office, you had this absolutely massive bookshelf with a bunch of different artifacts in it. One of them appeared to be way more important than all of them, being this very, very mysterious looking box that had a total of four different signs around it telling Agent Jones not to open it. it. goes without saying, but obviously this box is incredibly important. Why it's so important remained a mystery for literally a few years. It was until Fortnite Chapter 4 release, specifically Chapter 4 Season 2, where one of the Battle Pass skins is actually this character that goes by the name Renzo the Destroyer. I don't forget when he was first introduced inside of the Fortnite storyline, Renzo the Destroyer was actually a bad guy was a member of the Unseen alongside characters like Triarch Knox and a few others. Don't forget that the Unseen were closely associated with the last reality, aka the evil aliens that have attacked the Fortnite Island a few different times. Wait until you see this. Renzo Destroyer actually has a back bling. It should look very, very familiar as it's obviously the exact same box that was in Agent Jones's office. He was strictly told not to open. Things get even more interesting when you look at this box's description where it literally says nobody knows what it does. They're too afraid to ask. Now, the truth about what's contained inside of this box never officially revealed inside of the fortnite storyline leading theory here actually has to do with this loading screen known as renzo the magnificent in it you're able to see renzo himself outside of the loop on top of that on either side of him you're able to see some scary faces that should look familiar many people are comparing these to cerberus aka the three-headed dog that played a massive role in chapter 5 season 2 basically implying that when the mega city was destroyed during the big bang event that renzo's box was subsequently destroyed and opened that was what was responsible for bringing pandora's box to the island for chapter five. Don't worry, coming up next, I'll showcase the Five Nights at Freddy's event. First, ladies and gentlemen, there's one character here on the Fortnite island that's had an extremely rough go of it so far here in chapter five. Obviously, I'm talking about everyone's favorite character, Peely, because not only did he literally get kidnapped and stolen by the society in chapter five, season one, but also what many people didn't know in the very next season, Peely appeared back on the island at this little campsite. He began shopping around the island for a house to buy, but each and every single one of them were destroyed when the sandstorm hit the island at the beginning of the season. That wasn't the last we've seen a Peely. Because as we all know, a version of Peely is an NPC at Restored Reels. Goes by the name Peelosopher Banana Nocrates. Now this dude is one of the craziest secrets I've ever seen added into the game. It goes like this, right? So obviously we all know that whenever you go up to this NPC and talk to him with any skin that isn't a banana, basically just says a bunch of gibberish in his banana language. And we also know that if you take up any version of Peely and go talk to him, that they'll instantly be able to understand the language, easily decode everything he says. The big secret is actually revealed whenever you take this version of Peely notice potatoes peels and go interact with that npc you'll notice that for some odd reason it seems like he's not able to understand the banana language at all obviously this is confusing because potatoes peels is clearly a version of peely which means he should have no issue understanding the language right some people think epic game just forgot to add the dialogue for this skin i think the truth is a little more sinister let me explain so we all know that the peelosopher banana nocrates skin is basically a version of peely from ancient greece that was released to go with the theme of last season many people mistakenly think 
think the same is true for Potassius Peels. That's not the case at all, and he's actually styled around the Roman Empire. From what I understand in ancient history, the Roman and the Greeks did not get along. Even having a massive Roman-Greek war, this essentially means the two version of Peles are enemies. On top of that, both the Roman and Greek spoke a different language, which is likely why the Roman version of Peles isn't able to understand the Greek version. But that's what I'm messing around. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Because finally, after literally waiting a bunch of years, Five Nights at Freddy's and Fortnite collaboration is finally here. This event has been a long time in the making, specifically ever since Chapter 2 Season 5. Whereas I'm sure I'll remember during that season, the Zero Point itself became super, super destable. It resulted in a bunch of different rip portals being opened up across the island. And each one of these portals would bring in a bunch of characters from different universes, like a bunch of characters from The Walking Dead, Master Chief from Halo, and so many more. At this very same time, a brand new skin was added into the Fortnite game files, codenamed French Fry. This skin pack also included this very weird sound effect. That should sound very familiar, because it's literally the exact same footstep sounds that Freddy Fazbear makes in any of the FNAF games. On top of that, don't forget this set was codenamed French Fry, and Epic Games always uses the first letters in any of the words in the codenames to match up with the name of the actual skin, so there was a great chance that that skin could have actually been Freddy Fazbear. We all know what happened from here. Unfortunately, this skin never ended up releasing. That's because Scott Cawthon, the dude that actually created Five Nights at Freddy's, came out at the same time and said that they have no plans of collaborating with Fortnite or any other games with in the next year. We all started to lose hope. That was until Fortnite Chapter 4 came out. But on the brand new island, there was a new location that went by the name Faulty Splits. At this location, you were able to find a massive bowling alley. Players were able to notice a bunch of similarities between Faulty Splits, as well as the location known as Bonnie Bowl in the game Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Things got even crazier when players were able to notice this weird painting of a bear located inside of the bowling alley that looked very, very similar to Freddy Faze Bear. At this very same time, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was just about to hit theaters. Meaning that chances of an FNAF and Fortnite collab were higher than ever. But still, the collab never ended up happening. But alas, here we are in Fortnite Chapter 5. Not only has Five Nights at Freddy's been included in a ton of the Epic Games surveys that they send out where they ask players what collabs they want to see added into the game, but also because, check this out, coming up here shortly will actually be FNAF's 10-year anniversary. To go along with this, they said they're going to be making a ton of different announcements between the dates August 1st and August 8th. A few days ago, they revealed these announcements. Most of these, we have no interest in, things like interviews and game remakes, one stood out to everyone actually being on August 6th, where apparently a brand new collaboration is going to be announced. But don't worry, we actually have an incredibly good reason for thinking this collaboration is going to be with Fortnite, because here in Chapter 5 Season 3, we only have one more update remaining. Get this, that update will release on the very same day Five Nights at Freddy's will be making their collaboration announcement on August 6th. Finally, after literally years and years of waiting, it looks like Freddy Fazbear and his gang are going to be arriving in Fortnite. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a mini pass with a bunch of awesome rewards to unlock. We only get one of those every season, and obviously this season is with Pirates of the Caribbean. However, I would expect to see Freddy Fazbear added as an NPC on the island. Epic Games does that basically every time a new collab skin is released, with the exception of the brand new Wolverine X character that escaped out of the bunker last week. That's only because there'll likely be a boss or NPC next season. But one thing's for sure, Five Nights at Freddy's is far and away the most hyped collaboration we've ever gotten in Fortnite. Make sure you mark the date on August 6th on all of your calendars, that'll be one of the most important dates ever. Oh, dear boys, you ready for this? Hello? Oh, am I gonna stop it? Okay, all right. It was not one of my better decisions. Not one of my better decisions. Oh, 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 oh. Let's be friends, buddies. What do you say? No, no. That was not good, dude. That was literally terrible. Here we go. All right, we got one. Lost a bunch of shield, though. That's no good. Just one more, buddy. Boom, thanks for playing. And they gave me some 50 shields, thank you. The boss is still here. This is a free elimination, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, she just blew me up. Oh my goodness, she blew me up again. Gotta heal, boys, I gotta heal, man. Going down, buddy. You're going down. Oh, bro, did this boss get harder to fight? I kind of think she did. Oh my goodness. Here, she's so weak. She's so weak. She's so weak. Yes, we eliminated her. That was not easy, but it was worth it for a medallion. Hurry up, Vault. Hurry up. Open, open, open. We gotta be quick. The zone is quickly closing on us. Oh, he's all the way over there by the boat. Oh, wow. That was nuts. There's another one over there, though. Okay, another one got him. I think this is the last enemy right here. Come on. Oh, yes, it was. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. A massive victory royale. Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration is coming soon to Fortnite. As soon as it gets announced and we have all the details, I'll make sure to tweet it all out over my official Twitter account, at HomeAgamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.